Hello, welcome to today's demonstration of Smid Seat. I'm going to take you through how to create a seating plan, how to save it, and how to export it as PDF. So first of all, you need to select a year group. So you can select either sixth form or your key stage four or three. Here we're going to select year 11. And if you click submit, then it will then update into the year 11 section. You can now select the subject. So I'm going to select additional science. You've then given the option to select a class. So we've got all my year 11 classes here. I'm going to select set one. And after this loads, you can then give the option to select a data capture. You can submit them without selecting a data capture, or if you prefer, you can go up and select the data capture drop down and use one of the data captures linked to this year group, or simply use the expected attainment eight scores to provide a, an organized target setting group. Once you've decided what you're going to use, you simply click the drop down, select them. I'm going to use the most recent data capture and they will be loaded into the system. So here I have, have all my results, some pupil information on the side, and I can edit this pupil information and I can add to it. So if I had this student here and I wanted to put at, that they had literacy issues, I might put LI so that I know I need to give them some extra literacy support. I'm then going to click submit and they are then put onto the page. As you can see, they've now been colored depending on their ability. And then I can still decide to put them into groups automatically or rows automatically. If I click on this one here, it puts them into groups where they're mixed ability. I can then move them around, adjust them to fit my classroom. I can move singular students around as I wish. If I then decide to change to rows, I simply click on rows and I can move them into the different row formats. And from here, I can then move them around again, or I can merge two rows together to make a square. I'll do the same with this one. And then if I want to move them back to rows, I simply click on rows and it moves them back to being in one row. I can again move pupils from one place to another. I can add extra custom effects, such as a single table on its own, if I should need to. I can add someone into this table. I'll then add another one. You can make the seating plan as complicated as you like. You can add different things such as LSAs, doors, windows. You can add them to it. Once I'm happy with the layout, I can then decide if I want to save it. I click save as new. It then pops up with a question and I click yes, save it. And it will take about two or three seconds to save and you'll get a message telling you that it has been saved. You can now adjust it and move the tables round. And if once you're happy with it again, you simply click update. And again, you save it and it will overwrite. I can now click export to PDF, the PDF button up there. This will then create a PDF file. One of them will have all the names and all the details. And one of them will just be just the names. You can print off one for your own use and one to put on the classroom door. Now, if I refresh and come back, like I'm coming back another day, I can actually use this drop down and choose a seating plan to pick from and this will automatically put it back in the format that I had it in before. This should make it easier if you need to make small changes from one data capture to the next. I can then export it to PDF again.